In this video we're going to recap on our last two lessons of HTML and CSS coding and we're going to be creating ourselves a website that looks like this. It's basically a shopping list of 10 items. Now in the shopping list we've also got a little bit of formatting on the text, so that's a little bit of CSS styling. We've also got a hyperlink down here, so when we click on that link it takes us to the Coles website and we've also got an image inserted in the bottom of our page. Alrighty, so let's head over to our accounts and get started by setting up our folder structure. To begin with, we're going to have our Lesson 3 shopping list folder created. And inside of that, we're going to have an images folder as usual. Now inside that images folder, we will have a picture called shopping.jpg. If I just change the view of this, you'll see that it is a picture of somebody shopping. Alrighty, so once you've got those two folders set up with the picture inside it, you can head over to Brackets and we're going to get started on this website. So we're going to get a file and new to begin with and before we start typing, as usual, we will save the page first of all. Okay, so I will go into my Documents folder and find the Lesson 3 Shopping List folder I just created. And we're going to rename this page to Shopping List. .html. No spaces in that name. Don't forget the .html on the end to remind the computer that we are making a web page here. So click save. We're good to go now and we're ready to start making this web page. Alrighty, so we start first of all with the doc type tag just to remind the computer that we are making ourselves a HTML document. The text is a little bit small. I'm just wondering if we can zoom in a little bit here so we can see that. There we go, hopefully you can see that text a little bit better. Okay, so we've got our doc type tag in. On line number two, we're going to start our coding. So let's put in the HTML tags. Inside the HTML tags, we begin with our head section. And inside the head section, we'll give our page a title. Okay, in between the title tags, our title for today is called My Shopping List. And that's our head section all finished off. So going down a couple of lines, we'll begin the main part of our web page, which is the part we're going to see in the web browser. It's the body section. So put in the body tags. We will begin today by doing a nice big heading, so a H1 heading. It says my shopping list. Alrighty. I'm just going to press Control S to save that. Now, we're used to going over to our account and just opening up this HTML file here and previewing it in the internet. A quick way in brackets for a live preview on what your website's looking like is just to press this little lightning bolt up the corner here. Now I'm pretty sure on the computer I'm on it's not going to work. Okay, it does have an error launching the browser, but on your computer at home that should work. So you should be able to click live preview and that will open up your web page in Google Chrome or Internet Explorer, whichever one you use. Okay, and it should look something like this. We put our H1 heading in. We've also got our title in at the top. Okay, so that's how our page is looking so far. I'll just leave that open and I'll keep refreshing the changes as we make them. So below our H1 heading, we're going to put in a new paragraph. And in this paragraph, we're just going to say, go to Coles after work and pick up the following items. Okay, what I might do as well is put this text here into italics. So just going back to the start of that sentence after the P tag, we're going to put in the EM tag which is giving our text a bit of emotion. So it makes it into italics. I'll just close that tag off at the end of the sentence there, just inside the P tags. And if I save that now by pressing Control S, I'll go and refresh my page here. And we can see we've got go to Coles after work and pick up the following items. Alrighty. So let's keep moving. The next part of our page, we will make a new paragraph for this, and I'm going to go down on the next line. We're going to put in the list of items that we need to pick up at the supermarket. Alrighty, so we're going to create an ordered list, or a numbered list that is, that's like numbered bullet points. So remember each time we want to add in an item on this shopping list, we need to include the LI tags, which is a list item. Okay, so the first item on our list is going to be bread and we have the LI tag surrounding the bread. That makes a numbered bullet point for us. And we just keep, I'm actually going to copy and paste this. Hopefully that's about 10 times. I'm just going to add different products to our shopping list beneath 
one another. Okay, so we've got bread, we've got milk, we've got eggs, we've got ice cream. Uh, what else can we put? We've got cheese, chicken, lettuce, tomato, potatoes, and we'll finally put in some wheat mix. Alrighty, so there's 10 items that we can throw into our shopping list. Okay, let's go and save that and have a look at what this ordered list has done. Okay, so remember each time we write LI, a number should appear in our ordered list. Go and have a look and refresh this page. There we go, so each time we've added in the LI tag, we've got a number, which is a bullet point, next to our list of items on the shopping list. Alrighty, so let's go back to brackets and keep working. So our ordered list is closed off. We'll need to also get below this paragraph. Okay, so there's the closing P tag for that paragraph. That's one entire paragraph there. And we're going to make another paragraph down here. In this paragraph, we're simply going to put in a hyperlink in a minute. It's going to say, click here to go to the Coles website. Okay, and the part we want to turn into a hyperlink is the click here part. Okay, so just after the P tag, let's start making a hyperlink. We open up a bracket and we write ahref equals, and in quotation marks you just need to write the website you want to go to. Oops, don't forget to close your quotation marks and then close your bracket. Remember this little A tag will appear to show you that your link has been closed off. You want to remove it from there and put it after the words click here. So the click here becomes the hyperlink. Okay, so we've got ahref equals, we've got the Coles website there, and we've got our link closing up after the words click here. If you want to make that link open up in a new tab, which I do recommend, you just need to go back in after the coles.com.au writing and write target equals underscore blank. And that will open up your web page link in a new blank tab. Alrighty, so that's got our hyperlink working. Um, we'll also put a picture in down a little bit lower, so let's add one last paragraph in and we'll put in an image, so IMG space SRC, which stands for image source equals, in quotation marks, just let brackets do the work for you it's looking in the images folder and inside the images folder it's going to grab this picture shopping.jpg and there's the small preview of it as you hover over the top of it Okay, so that looks good. Paragraphs closed up, our body section's finished up, and our HTML section's finished up. So I'll save that and have another preview. So we should see a hyperlink and a picture appear now. Yep, so there's our hyperlink, and when I click it, hopefully it opens up the Coles web page in a new tab. Uh, I don't know if my computer's. Oh, I haven't got the website address spelled correctly. I've got http colon forward slash forward slash. We'll try that again and we'll see if that's working. That's a bit better, so I'll just quickly type in my username and password to get onto the Coles website. Beautiful. So our hyperlink's working now. Just have to watch my spelling in future. Um, it's a little bit plain still, a little bit boring this page. So let's spice it up a little bit by adding a bit of style to the page. So I'm going to go up to the body tag at the top here. Inside that we're going to add some style. So style equals I like to start with the background colour, so we'll write in background dash colour, spelled the American way. Do a colon, and I'm going to start with yellow. Now I know yellow is too bright of a colour, so I'm going to right click on it and go to quick edit and turn it down a bit. I might go into the oranges there and just choose a nice light orangey, yellowy kind of colour. When I'm happy I'll just close it. So that little bit of code there, style equals background colour and choose the colour you want. Save that, refresh the page and you'll see we get that nice colour in the background now. My font over here I think needs changing. Remember in previous tutorials I said that our font family, so let's change font family, it should usually be sans dash serif. Okay, it picks a sans serif font, so the font without the little curly feet on the end of the letters. And when we refresh this, you'll see it's a lot easier to read than whoop, a serif font. 
Um, I still think the writing's a little bit bunched up, a little bit close together, so we might add a bit of line spacing in here. So I'm going to put a semicolon after sans serif, and I'm going to write line dash height colon 1.5 em. And that little bit just tells us we need 1.5 line spacing for our text. So I'll press Control S to save it, and refresh it again, and it just spaces out our text a little bit. This is looking really good now. One last thing I might do, in the shopping list we've got some ice cream. Ice cream is pretty tasty. We should remind the person looking at the shopping list that they should not forget to get the ice cream. So let's put a dash next to it and write, don't forget this. And what we're going to do is make it bold so they definitely don't forget it. It's going to stand out. So before the word ice cream, we're just going to write the word strong in quotation marks. Remove that closing strong tag and put it at the end, just before the end of the list item there. Okay, so we've got strong tags now around ice cream. Don't forget this. That will make it into bold. So I'll save that. Just watching number four here, the ice cream. You'll see that when I refresh it, it just turns into bold text. Alrighty, so that's a fairly simple shopping list um, web page. Hopefully you had no dramas creating that. Save it up. When you're done, make sure it's a HTML file and you're all finished.